All right, what's up guys? So today is Engine Bay Dress Up Redemption Part 1 with another set of Downstar Dress Up collars. Just can't let that purple go. Check it out. Now, if you didn't see the spray paint video I did recently, I tried to do an engine bay dress up by taking a set of Golden Wrench Supply Black Line Caps and Downstar dress up bolts and spray painting them with Techno Violet Purple. So quick recap, I love how the purple came out, the beautiful speckled metallic purple true to the BMW color, but when I went to go do a test fitting in the engine bay, I felt that the, the, the purple got lost in the darkness of the engine bay. I was looking for something that was a little louder, a little more eye-catching, and so this purple was just a little bit too dark for that application. So I went back and reconsidered a few other options. One of those was just doing the polished collars and the silver caps, which these were before I spray painted them. Another option was doing the Motorsport Blue Black Line caps, and I think they also have the oil filter housing, uh, as well as the blue Downstar bolts, but I just couldn't let go of the purple. And if you haven't noticed, kind of got a thing for purple. And we got the phone going here, you know? So went ahead and put an order into Downstar for a set of their purple collars, which I didn't do those originally because I thought they might have clashed with the Techno Violet that I was spray painting the caps. But since we're not doing Techno Violet now, I figured why not just go ahead and give their purple a try. I've already kind of looked at them in the engine bay and I think it's definitely gonna be that brighter purple that I was looking for. So got the purple ones, gonna give those a shot. I think they're gonna be great, but we'll find out. All right, now for installation, really easy, just a one-to-one -one replacement of all of the bolts in the kit. Downstar does provide some instructions as well as on their website, they have some images and a great video by a guy who does this in his M2. Now this is the F8X kit, so it applies to the M2, M3, M4. Uh, however, with the M2, it's a little bit different. There's some bolts that you don't use, so I figured I'd throw my hat in the ring, try to do a section-by-section -section breakdown in the M3 engine bay, would be the same as the M4, so check it out. Quick over overview of the tools that we're going to use for this. Now per Downstar's instructions, all you need to install the kit is just a 5 and 6 millimeter Allen. That is true, but in addition to that, to remove all of the stock hardware and fasteners and bolts, you're also going to need an 8 millimeter socket, 10 mil, 13 mil, a T30, and a T40. And then also a few other things that I think will be helpful is a socket extension. Also I have this ratcheting wrench. So this is a 10 mil ratcheting wrench to get the bolts that are alongside the fender that are kind of in a you know tight reach area. So something like this will be helpful. I also have a five mil Allen key and this bit here to get those downstar bolts into place also in that tight fender area. And last thing, I love to give a little shout out to a hero tool whenever possible. So if you're a relatively new DIYer like myself and you don't necessarily have a huge collection of built up tools for mechanical type situations, magnetic telescoping wand. So I was trying to remove the strut brace and I dropped one of the 13 mil bolts way deep in the engine bay. And short of removing half the components on the left-hand side, I'm not sure I would have been able to get it, but I had this magnetic telescoping wand and definitely saved me there. So if you don't have one, highly recommend. I will leave a link to this in the description below. All right, one thing to note real quick if you are doing this. So this is a piece of like plastic weather stripping that kind of acts as like a water rain protectant for the engine bay. Um, some of the collars that for the fender bolts would go underneath of this, I'm probably not gonna remove this to put those in place. So I'm probably just gonna leave this on here. The only one on this side and the other side that are exposed that I'll do is this one. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I think I just wanna keep this in place for now. Might change my mind on that later, but for now, I'll keep it like this, and then the few extra collars that I'll have left over from not doing this, I'll keep around just in case I need like replacements if one gets damaged or something. Okay, so all of the bolts and collars in the Downstar kit are separated in individual compartments. So if you group them together, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way down the bag. Okay, so for number one, you have an eight mil for the electric junction box. Number two, a 10 mil for the strut brace and coolant tank bolt. Number three, a 10 mil for the fender bolts, and there's three on each side. Number four, a T30 for the headlight brackets, two on each side. Number five, T30 for the hood latch, so you're gonna have four on each side. Number six, 
10 mil, and these are for the side fender bolts, some of which are underneath the plastic guard. All right, number seven, a 10 mil for the right-hand side intake bracket. This is where a socket extension will help. Number eight, 10 mil for the left-hand side brace bolt. All right, number nine, T30 and T40 for the radiator supports. So you're gonna use the T40 for the two larger radiator bolts on the tops on each side. So there's two on each side. Then there's two more in the middle towards the front. And then the other two on each side are going to be the smaller T30s. Finally, for number 10, 13 mil for the two strut brace bolts in the front. One other thing I wanted to point out real quick. So I have these bags labeled one through 10. Basically every section of bolts that I take off per the matching set in the Downstar kit, I'm gonna put in the bags just so I have them just in case. Okay, so real quick, I wanted to explain this. So the very first collar that you get with the Downstar kit is for the electrical box junction right here, right? So this is on the right-hand side of the strut brace. So I've gone ahead and removed the strut brace as well as my intake for this side to explain this. Well, one, I wasn't getting to this part easily, and two, I figured since I'm filming this, it'd be easier for demonstration purposes. So the very first collar goes here, right? And so, Here's this sort of square hole in this piece of metal. And then you have this little white fastener that goes in through here. And then it has like these little plastic tabs that pop out that holds it in place. And then your eight mil fastener gets screwed in right here. That holds everything in place from stock, right? So the very first collar goes in here, but the bolt for that collar will not fit in this fastener. So you have to remove it. So you pinch the sides from the bottom here, and then you push straight up and it will come out. And then the one that you get from Downstar has the collar, the bolt goes through, and there's a nut that gets screwed in underneath. You probably could do this without removing everything. In the instructions for their car, there's an open cone intake that they have, so this would have been a lot easier to get to. I don't know if that was there you know, initially or, or what, but um, for, for my case, I was having a really hard time getting to this. So that is how you get this in place. All right, and there it is. Zoom in there, first one. Done, man. So yeah, I don't really know how I would have gotten that nut fastened if I hadn't removed everything. I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm saying that I just don't know that I'm that good. So, all right, one down, 47 to go. Man, that engine bay. BMW, y'all did good. Hey, so I wanted to point this out real quick too. So for my strut brace, right? So you have this 10 mil bolt that you're supposed to take off in order to do the number two washer, the beauty, well, the beauty collar. And then this part actually goes, it's supposed to be in the coolant tank and threads in there. But for me, this was all stuck together as one piece. So when I took the brace off, this entire thing came out. And when tightening, it would just tighten this back into the coolant tank. So it all worked, but this piece is supposed to be in the coolant tank. So if you're like me and you took this brace out, and you're like, how am I supposed to get this bolt in there? Well, this actually needs to be separated and this needs to be in the coolant tank. So all I did was spray a little bit of WD-40 in there, waited like five, 10 minutes, grabbed a shop towel, some pliers to hold this in place, and then was able to loosen it from the other side and came out pretty easily. So just a heads up. All right, fender supports are done. So a quick heads up on this. These, this one was easy to do, but these other two, a little tricky. I mean, I gotta clean up in here a little bit. But anyway, uh, so this is a five millimeter Allen to get these secured. This one you can just use like a regular Allen key if you have it, but for this one back here, I actually just grabbed like a bit that came part of like a screwdriver kit, got a grip to grip the bit, and then just did incremental turns. So a couple of different ways you can probably do that, but that one worked for me. All right, so quick heads up about the fender bolts. So because these are painted to the body color, when you remove them, you might have a tiny little bit of area that is unpainted after you put the collar on. So if you have some Dr. Color Chip on hand, that is going to be very helpful. This one I need to touch up just a little bit. These ones back here were fine. Not a big deal, but now I didn't see this on the other side at all. So again, I don't think it's a very common thing, but just worth mentioning. Now, 
Now this is that blue and purple color combination that I was going for. My engine bay still has a long way to go. It's not nearly where I want it to be, but I think this was an important incremental next step in getting it to that next level. So when you open the hood, it just has that more finished look. And you know, there's a million things you can do in your engine bay, painted engine covers, endless carbon fiber opportunities, you know, intakes and charge pipes that you can get in polished or chrome or like a black polished finish, whatever. But I really think if you're not doing a kit like this, the Downstar kit, it's kind of a missed opportunity. And you know, just having gotten back from Beamer Invasion where I saw endless cars with beautiful engine bays, a lot of them had these Downstar kits. And you know, you don't even have to do the accent color or the color that matches your body paint, even if you just did like the black chrome. Getting rid of that stock hardware on the inside, that ugly eyesore primer colored bolts, especially around the radiator support, I think that's where this kit really shines is dressing up that area. It just completely transforms that look when you open up the engine bay. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found some of the installation tips helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already because I'm doing a lot more to the car this year. So lots more new F80 content coming soon and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.